Yo, what's up, family? Hope y'all are doing well. In the previous video that I posted, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, that you're going to come across people like this. They, they literally will make up stories, rumors. They will stalk you, mock you, and but it's always subliminal. And, and like I said, when you start, when, when you realize they're watching you, and the Lord tells you what scriptures to post, they're always going to think everything's about them because that's what a narcissist does. These people are unsaved. You know, they need to be saved. They need to repent and come to the Lord, and they need to know that they're loved by Jesus. Um, but they're so stubborn in their ways and their ways of thinking that they can't even, it's like they don't care nothing for the Lord's love because the way they look at it, they've already got everything they, they need. But what they don't understand is that the Lord is going to take these things. You know, there's going to come a day where they're going to lose everything. And if they don't have faith in the Lord family, it's very sad what's going to come to these people. They're going to perish and, and, and their children and everything. It's not, it's just, it's a sad thing, you know? I mean, but the thing is, their children are innocent. They're innocent souls. So, you know, those souls are going to go to heaven. Children are innocent. But it's the adults. It's the ones, you know, that know better. And a lot of these people know better. They either grew up in church, you know, or they, they know about God. But they refuse to live for God. They live for themselves. But guys, don't ever be, you know... Sometimes the Lord will tell you to be still, and sometimes the Lord will tell you to talk and expose. And I guess it just got to the point where God's like, you know what, this, this group of people are going to keep on, so let's just start popping off things. So that's what I'm going to do. So please forgive me, you know, family, but I'm doing what I know the Lord wants me to do. He wants me to let these people know that He sees what they're doing. He sees their heart. He sees their true motives. Even though they can make it look like to their group of friends that I'm the problem and that I've always been the problem and all this, the Most High God, the Creator of all things, knows the truth. These people do not want to be looked at like a weirdo stalker. You know, they don't want to be looked at as somebody that's obsessed with somebody else. But my biggest suggestion, family, you know... Protect your relationships. Protect yourself if you're single. There are so many women and men alike out there that do not care nothing about your soul. You are there for a convenience. You know, um, don't let these people be stumbling blocks. You know, if they want to try to get in your way, just kick them out the way. You know, you got to go. Get behind me. Not today. But be aware of who you lay with who you marry nowadays because if you're not marrying a man of God or a woman of God I don't care what these people claim that relationship's not going to last if they don't realize that they have to have God family that's just that's just all it is to it okay um, I'm going to read you guys Mark 4 17 and they have no root in themselves but endure for a while then, when tribulation, persecution arises on account of the word, immediately they fall away. That's why the Lord tells us to endure to the end, family. You're going to be tested by, you know, and a lot of these people, it, it's, you're, you're not fighting the flesh in these people. It's the spirit that's within them. And, you know, they're going to make it look like just because you're a child of God that, you know, you can't fight this, this, and that. Look, if anybody, any of these people ever put their hands on me, the power of God is going to come out my fist. And it will be justified. I don't like violence. I don't like hatred. I don't like all that. But I will defend myself. I will definitely defend myself. But I won't throw the first punch because I'm not petty like that. I don't go out of my way to start trouble and drama and fights with people that I don't even know. But this group of people in particular have been doing this for a long time. Some of them are a little newer. And like I said, guys, it's the rumors they've heard. It's probably something they heard that I did, somebody I slept with, probably like six years ago. It, I guess it just bothers them. 
that the Lord can take someone like me and use me. You know? I mean, my sins have been forgiven. So it doesn't matter if these people throw up my past or what I did three years ago, four, five, ten years ago. It doesn't matter to me because the Lord forgave me. He's done forgot about those sins that some people, you know, they still want to remember. And that ain't nothing but Satan, guys. That's that's Satan working through these people. So don't don't be discouraged in your path and in your walk with Christ when you come across these kind of people. And don't be afraid to expose them either. Because you know what? I was going to be still, but the Lord's like, no, this, this one just won't stop. So let's just go ahead and talk about it. Let's see if she's willing to talk about it. I don't really think she is. I could be wrong, family. You know, maybe she'll want to talk about it, but we'll see. It's not just her in particular, though. This is like a group of people. But there's a few of them in particular that just won't leave things alone. And after some time that you've warned somebody once and twice, like it says in the Word, you warn these people because you don't want their blood on your hands. And you know they're listening to you. They may be subliminally in the shadows, in the dark, behind their little screen, safely listening to you. They won't never like your stuff. They won't never comment on your stuff. But they will watch and every time you upload something or, you know, they right there. Guys, all you got to do is pray and rebuke these people in Jesus' name. God has vengeance. Now, we are to expose the darkness and expose the wickedness in the world. And that includes the things that, that people may do. You know, if they claim they know God and they out here <laughs> acting wild and crazy, <clears throat> you have that right to call them out. It has to be a righteous judgment. It can't be based on mere appearance or anything like that, family. And like I said, we all fall short of the glory of God. None of us are good in the sight of, of the Lord. None of us, not even one. We talked about that already, right? So, I mean, all of us fall short, but you have to acknowledge it. You have to take some type of accountability for the way you are and some, and some humiliation. You need some humiliation in, in life from time to time so you can grow, so you can heal, so you can change. <clears throat> if nobody ever calls you out for your wickedness and what you're doing, how do you expect to change and for that to be brought to your attention so you can work on it? And of course, these people are not going to take it from me as being loving or trying to save their soul or make them wake up. They're going to take it as hate, and that's fine. There again, the Lord knows my heart. He knows my intentions and my motives of why I've, I've put these couple videos out. So I'm not sweating that. But I, I, I truly pray. I truly pray for these people. It's, 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 you know you got people feeling some type of way when everything you post they think is about them. Like I said, that is the definition, family, of a narcissist. They think everything's about them. The world revolves around them. Um... Just, it's best to stay away from people like this. And, and look, they'll always have a big group of people, you know, big group of friends or whatever. You know, half of them ain't friends. They all talk about one another, put one another down. You know, it's, it's just a big old chaotic mess. That's why the Lord tells us to be separate from people like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, not to yoke ourselves with, with people like that, you know. I mean, at some point, we all got to acknowledge that we've messed up, you know, and that and that we can learn from our mistakes. But if someone never points out the error in your ways and all your little flying monkey friends are just, you know, down, down for it and they just, they don't know any better because they've been fooled by you too. Or either they're just as narcissistic as you are, you know, regardless, you can change from that and you can have... You can take that heart of stone that you got in your chest and ask the Lord God to give you a heart of flesh and he'll change you. You'll start looking at the world different. You'll start treating people different. You'll find yourself praying for your enemies because these people obviously want to, you know, make themselves my enemy. And if that's what they want to do, that's fine. But they're making themselves an enemy of God too. And that's what they don't realize because they're too ignorant to the word of God. But anyway, family, I love you guys. I just wanted to tell you, you know, you're going to be persecuted. You're going to be hated by people. But only speak when the Lord tells you to, you know. You're going to, you can pray on it. He'll reveal to you whether he wants you to talk about things or whether he wants you to be silent. My mother died 
on May 13th at 823, 11 years ago. And eight plus two plus three is 13. So yesterday was a hard day for me, but as the years have went on, it's gotten easier, especially since I've walked, gotten closer with God, because I know ultimately that I'm gonna see her again. So, you know, I, I when I'm going through stuff like that, I'll take a break from social media, you know, or May is a hard month for me anyway. <clears throat> um, you got Mother's Day, my mother's birthday is in May, my grandmother died in May. Um, she died May 1st. And let's see, Miss McReynolds is a lady I've told y'all about. I've worked for her for many years. They moved her out to Texas. Well, hospices came in. So it's looking like I may lose somebody very dear to me in May again. But through all of it, through all the good, the bad, the ugly, I'm going to praise the Lord. Through all the hate that I get from these people, I'm going to praise the Lord. I'm never going to be discouraged because I know who my Redeemer is. I know who I'm being protected by. And his strength and his might is powerful. And these people are going to get a, a, a good little idea of that soon if they don't repent. Repentance is important, family. I mean, I'm you know, I repent just about every day of something. You know, I'm trying my best to get right with God, but you're going to be tested. You've got to expect it. And look, this is just a little bit of uh, persecution and hate. The big persecution and hate family is going to come in our future. And that's really when you're going to have to make a stand. Do you stand with the Most High God or do you stand with the world? You know, that's that day will come too. But right now, you know, you're going to get persecution and hate and all that from, from people like that. So just expect that, okay? Don't be discouraged. I love you, family. Y'all stay safe, be easy, and stay prayed up. And just know everything's going to be okay. This world may try to make you feel different, but just smile. If they want to be stressed out and feel some type of way, pray for them. Carry on with your life. But always be willing to expose.